excellent stuff there, Jimmy. Well, now it's time for You Say We Pay. So I'm going to pass you over to my capable co-host, Simon Steele, who's standing by with Kasha, ready to play today's game. Thanks, Will. Missing you already. I'm here with our You Say We Pay host. This is Kasha. Now, she's the world record holder for the most number of elephant's feet tickled in a minute. Welcome to the show, Kasha. Hello, Simon. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Uh, thanks, Simon. The point of the game is simple. You have 30 seconds to describe the pictures that are on the screen behind me. And I have to get three answers correct. If I do so, you win. Shall we see who's on the line this week then? I believe we have Bonnie from Bugna Regis with us today. Hello, Bonnie. Woo! Hi, my name's Bonnie! Yes, yes, I know. How are you today? I'm from Bugna Regis. Okay, you seem rather excited, Bonnie. Are you ready to play You Say We Pay? Yes. Okay, can we have the countdown timer, please? Your time starts now. Uh, there's many different types. Um, it's a lot coming on some food. I don't know. What is it? What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Okay, um, it's yellow fruit. That's a bit musical. Yellow fruit, a melon, a grapefruit, strawberries. No, 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 you peel it. Peel it. I don't know. Pass. Um, not sure what this is. Some sort of hearing device. Oh, a grand opera dummy trumpet. Um, okay, it's a book full of phone numbers. It's the same colour as the second. What colour is the last one? Some peely fruit colour? I mean, what oh, fruit really pages. peels? Um, um, it's a toad, but not a toad. Oh, you're not. out of time. Well, you managed to get a total of one answer correct. So you do win this pen. Well done. Great. Thank well, you. Up, play the game and all the players are bloody. Back to Will and Simon in the studio. Well, thank you very much there, Kasha. Well, we are now joined in the studio Ladies by and the gentlemen. one and only Kevin Adler. A round of applause, yes, I feel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Been welcome. Thank you. Well, Kev, uh, you're renowned as, you know, a bit of a guitar hero. So um, why don't you tell us sort of how that started? How did you get into that? Uh, it all uh, dates back to when I was about four years old. Uh, I remember very vividly my father was in this uh, troupe of wandering minstrels. Wow. Yeah, I mean, uh, they used to go around all, all sorts of sort of Eastern European countries. Uh, play my father actually played the banjo. Mm. He was known as uh, Banjo Adset, in fact. Yeah. It was a, a little known fact about him, but it was his genuine nickname. Even mum called him that, so. Wow. Yeah, he was so that's obviously been a big inspiration for you, the minstrels there. Yeah. What are your other influences? Oh, uh, well, actually, I remember this one story. Uh, this woman that my father played with, uh, musically, I might add, yes. uh, <laughs> named Estelle, came down the stairs this one time, like, so she was wearing all white. It was literally a divine scene. Wow, and uh, she came down the stairs holding this guitar, this miniature guitar. And I, I was only about five years old, and she presented it to me, and she said, Kev, I want you to have this. And and That's from it. there, you've worked with a number of bands, isn't that correct? That is correct, yes. I, uh, I, rem I remember the first band I was in was called Blue Monkey. Uh, yeah, they were... Uh, it was a, a fusion of uh, jazz, funk and speed metal, so yeah. It was, uh, wow, that's wow. a bit of a departure from your normal fare. Oh yeah, well usually, you know, I, I go for anything really. Like, I'm, I'm completely open to any particular musical style, you know, now, Disney... We must the remind the viewers that Kev is actually performing tonight... This is true, at, at the, the Brighton, Brighton Centre, yeah. yes. yes. Make Make sure you're there. Eight yeah. o'clock. And you've been on tour recently. I have. Uh, would you like to sort of speak about sort of where you've been, uh, the countries, the venues? Yeah, sure. I mean, we've just come back from America, of course. We've done oh, our US yeah. tour, which was cool. hugely successful. I met a lovely stage manager on the tour, but I won't tell the whole Another story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've just played uh, yesterday. We played at the London Apollo, which was wow, really, nice really venue, yeah. successful gig, yeah, actually. Yeah, the crowd there, awesome crowd. So. Now, yeah. I believe there's a little bit of a scoop. Oh, here we go. Is there not? You are planning a solo project at the moment. It, well, this wasn't. This information wasn't supposed to be released. Just I yet. hear the word <laughs> exclusive. Yes, uh, I've been. In fact, what I'll be playing is the first track of the new solo album ah, uh, later on. We'll so be looking forward yeah. to that. Certainly, yeah, definitely. And uh, you're just releasing a new album. I am. Um, sort of. When's that coming out? Uh, it will be next Wednesday in the shops. Next Wednesday. Yeah. So make sure you got that. Important date for your calendars. That next, yeah, next Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. That is when Kev's new single is coming out. It's is called, that yeah, it's called uh, "Don't Look Before You Leap." There you are. Nice. Don't look before you leap. Yeah. Now I believe at the moment, Jimmy is about to present an award at the exclusive NAFTA Awards ceremony. A very prestigious award. It is a very prestigious award. Shall we go over now and see if we can see what Jimmy is up to yes. right now? Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the NAFTA Awards. Thank you, thank you. 
These are the awards for those special, special people. And our first award tonight is for outstanding special achievements in the field of special. This is our most prestigious award here at the NAFTAs. And the final nominees are Philip Watton for his role in Drop Hard Ragacore Bombs, Paul Newbury for his role in I Can't Feel My Face, Martin Shrimpton for his outstanding role in Bastard File, and of course, Mr. Am for his involvement in the Free Hugs campaign. And the winner is, drum roll please, thank you. It's Mr. Am! <laughs> Mr. Am, Mr. Am. Here you go, congratulations. Thank you, thank so, you. How do you feel? Well, it's quite Oh, actually... brilliant, wonderful, folks, that really is special. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for this year's NAFTAs. But I want to thank all of our winners, and I want to thank you at home for watching. Thank you, good night. Well, there we have it. Another week's morning glory all but over. So it's goodbye from us, and all it remains is for Kev to whip it out and play us out.